this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video but before we get started I would like to remind you to click subscribe down below as I do make videos every Sunday and Wednesday but welcome to my February TBR it might be a little messy but here it is so the video is going up a little bit later in the month and it's only I'm filming this like one week into February and I've already finished two books on my TBR so I'm not going to include those in this TBR because now I've already read them but I will include them in my wrap-up but fun fact like half the books that I want to read this month all have red spines so it's probably gonna be the thumbnail and this is what I'm probably gonna concentrate on before Valentine's Day um, because some of them are romance or have romance elements to them but they also just happened to have a red spine so that's really really fun I've created kind of a bigger TBR for myself than what I meant to because each month I will set about six books for me to read but then what happened this month is so I've got those six books I got audiobooks that I put on hold a long time ago that are just now coming in I'm like oh now I want to like read them so it's gonna be a little longer than what I was planning for it to be but hopefully I can still get them done considering I've been on a really good reading kick recently anyway so let's just get started talking about the specific books so the first one is a romance and this is somewhere between bitter and sweet and this is by Lake and Zaya Kemp and I wanted to pick this one up because I mean partially because it's a romance but also partially because I've been reading so many like baking and cooking themed romances and I thought you know while I'm sitting here reading them and enjoying them why don't I just finish all the ones that I want to so this is one that centers around two main characters one who her father owns a uh, nacho taco place but she really wants to osa pasteleria or like a little bakery or another shop right next to her father's but that conflicts with her parents idea of a perfect Mexican daughter that they have for her um, but we also follow our male main character and he gets a job at her father's uh, nacho place and he is facing issues not only just with the uh, restaurant but also with his own immigration status and I think this could be a very heart-wrenching read and but it's also again centered around Latinx food like Mexican food and I am excited to continue to read more then we're just gonna continue with the red spine so it's not gonna be in any sort of order but I have Ruin and Rising by Leigh Bardugo it's the third in the initial Grishaverse trilogy I yeah I read Season Storm in like December slash January I read it recently and so now I just kind of want to finish the trilogy maybe even before the second season comes out because it'd be nice to just have the trilogy finished and then I can move on to the Six of Crows duology but I thought oh how funny as a red spine it there is a main romance plot in here that I currently hate but we'll see how it goes so I hope to pick up this one pretty soon and then one that I have just started reading is it ends in fire and this is by Andrew Schwartz and this is much more fantasy. I don't even think there are romance elements in it, but that's okay. Not everything I read needs to be romance in February. This is about our main character who is a like a sorcerer, who is a wizard, um, but her parents were rebels and they didn't like the institution of the magic society and how it rules over everything. And so she goes to infiltrate the magic school and just burn it all to the ground and kind of live out her parents rebel dream in a way I like the catchphrases for this they came to learn she came to burn like this will be an interesting read and then the last red spine that I have is one that I started last year so a new goal that I'm just now kind of setting for myself is I had about like four books on my Goodreads currently reading that have just been living there like I started it and it I just haven't I put it down but I'm not DNFing it I want to pick it back up I just haven't yet for whatever reason so like January I finished Anna of Cleve which was I was currently reading for two years I was finally able to include it in my January wrap-up I finally finished it I was so excited so I decided that the next one that I'm going to try and get off of my currently reading that's been there for a little while is How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao 
and again, red spine, how in the world, but I have started reading this. I'm about 100 pages in. It's Dark Academia. I want to read this really badly. I just don't know why I haven't picked it back up. Like, I guess I just, I've been so excited to read the next book that I forgot that I'm currently reading this book and I'm enjoying it. So this follows a friend group where one of their friends has just died and now everyone's like vying for the top spot in the school but also like did one of the friends do it and then there's someone who's like sending out little texts to everybody being like mm -hmm. so one of you did it I know that and I'm gonna make your lives miserable so by exposing all your secrets it's not a long book I think I just need to sit down and read it for like a day or two and just get it done <laughs> I've got two more romances that aren't red colored spines that I do want to read this month. Oh my goodness, this is becoming such a big TBR. But the first one that I really want to read is Love Boat Reunion by Abigail Hing Wen. I was so excited when this book came out. I bought this the day it came out. I went after work to Barnes & Noble and I bought it and I was so excited. This is like the sequel slash companion novel, but like takes place after uh, Love Boat Taipei. And I very much enjoyed that, and so when I heard that this was coming into existence, I was very excited. So I picked this up, and I thought, you know, it's the perfect month to read it. It just came out, and it's romance. So I will be hopefully picking this up soon as well. And the last romance that I want to pick up this month is called Sway With Me, and this is by Saeed M. Masood. This is a YA romance. It has to do, it takes place in South Asia. I'm not sure if it's specifically India, um, but it has to do with matchmaking and someone, I believe, breaking up a match uh, upon a parent's request or something like that. And so I believe that our main characters do a dance at a wedding that is like, <gasps> So it caught my eye for many different reasons, both the cover and when I actually knew the summary, I liked it. Plus, yeah, I just thought it could be a fun, like, mischievous romance contemporary book. So hopefully I will be getting to this somewhat soon as well. Now let's move on to some of the other books where, like, they're not necessarily romance or they're not books that I had planned to read this month, but now I have the audiobook and I've been wanting to read them. So, like, yeah, let's do that. The first one is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I've been wanting to read this trilogy for a long time and I know people who just love this trilogy. So I finally got the audiobook. I'm finally gonna sit down and read this book. I also started reading Curse of the Spectre Queen. I'm not super far in. I started reading it, so it'd be kind of cool to finish it. I think there is a romance subplot in here that I'm going to enjoy. Who knows? This is like a female Indiana Jones. Um, but they're also dealing with Irish and Celtic mythology, which if you know me, that is my passion, that it's what I live for. So I need to hurry up and finish this because I think, I think the reason I haven't finished it is because I don't want it to end. I don't want to have read it and then be done with it. I just want it to constantly live on. I also have The 10,000 Doors of January. This is by Alex E. Harrow, and this is just an audiobook that I picked up randomly like there was a prompt for a readathon and I was like oh this book fits it oh I didn't get it and now all of a sudden I have it and I'm like well now that I have it I'm gonna read it I'm not gonna just give it up so I don't really know much about what this one was but I think it was very moving for a lot of people so we'll see and then oh back to romance I do have one more romance that I am going to read that I will mention here and I'm gonna be starting the bromance book club this is by Lisa K Adams uh, I've heard lots of like good things about the first one and then maybe about the one that just came out but I just think the concept sounds adorable it's these men going to a romance book club to kind of learn how to I don't know if it's like impress their women or be in a healthy relationship or just help them with their relationship problems but it just sounds adorable and it sounds exactly like what we need finally I do have one more book that I am reading it is fantasy romance but I'm not gonna mention it because I am doing a uh, secret reading vlog that should be going up sometime next week before Valentine's Day because it has romance as a main theme, so I thought it'd be a lot of fun, and so I'm not going to mention what it is because that would kind of spoil it. It is a blind date book that I'm doing, so keep an eye out for that blind date reading vlog that will be going up 
soon after this ish uh but it's a lot easier to keep an eye out for it if you subscribe so go click down below to subscribe as i said i post every sunday and wednesday otherwise feel free to like this video let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books or if you want to read any of these books or even if you have a recommendation for february for me like i'll always take recommendations but otherwise i do have a bunch of bookish social media down below that you can follow me and i will follow you back and we can talk about books together it'll be grand and until i see you all in the next video i wish you happy reading